18 Rushton, we're just up on the rear of the property, Vision on Roofing Services Limited. Uh, the roof overall uh, looks to be in good condition. What we do have though, just to note, is we have crack slate here, some peeling slates here. Moving over to the right, you see we have some slip slate. And then above just there we have a fully cracked slate where you cannot see the top of the slate it's not joining to the base and a crack right down the middle there's some slates that have slipped here as you can see overall is in reasonable condition there's a possibility of the ridges if you can see we do have some gaps in the ridges where we have mortar and a missing mortar, mortar, missing mortar, no mortar. So if the water is getting in through the ridges with driving rain or these key areas, what happens is it runs down the felt underneath and it finds its way to the gutter. And the leaking area is on the far side, which is around here. Now, as I was saying inside, the felt deteriorates. So if you look to this section, you can see the felt's been deteriorating, but it's still holding well. It's ripped here, you come through to here, and then it disappears. So we have no felt along here at all. So this is exactly what's going on. It's getting in through the ridges and the slates, it's running down, and it's not finding its way into the gutter. The solution for this is to rebed the ridges, redo the slate repairs, and we would have to strip off the eaves course, the first course, the second course, and into the third course. We can then run through a new breathable membrane. This is tricky because, as you can see, this material deteriorates. It tears, it pulls. So, we need to get this new breathable membrane under the existing one I felt, run this through, so then it will run through seamlessly to here. Eve protection trays along the base to provide a third barrier, new timbers, and reaffix the slates. We don't reaffix the slates, we don't just strip off these three courses because when you get to here, you've got nowhere to fix, so you'd end up with lead tags all the way along which is not good practice so we like to strip out in a, a triangle fashion so that along this section we'd only have one two three maybe maybe four at the very most lead tags rather than 12. so this is the solution for resolving this area uh, the other option is for a full re-roof but i don't think that it requires it but at some point in the future if you start getting leaks in other areas would be an idea to pull everything off and to do breathable membrane new timbers put the slates back and allow i'd say on this roof for around 30 35 percent worth of breakages and we will source them from the reclamation yard and we're going to have a look over on this section this is a leaded gutter this is a bit different situation i'll put my ladders around now and i will speak to you regarding this okay